In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly put on gaiters. Hiking gaiters are one of the integral tools for you to keep rocks and mucks and sticks and snow and all sorts of things out of your boots. But how do you properly put them on? I'll show you in this video. Also, there is an improper way to put them on, and I'll explain that as I go, because if you put them on wrong, I'll tell you the story of what will happen at the end of the video. So here we go. These gaiters, what they do is they wrap around your shoe and your pants and create a nice little interface to prevent all the junk that you don't want out in your boots. Now I'm gonna take the camera off, position it, and show you the proper way to size and put your gaiters on. This technique applies to whether you have full length gaiters that cover pretty much all of your calf or the Rocky Mountain low trail hiking desert gaiters that only pretty much pr create a seal around your boot. What I'm gonna do is show you the technique of how I put these on. When you first purchase gaiters, you'll see that they've got this strap on the bottom with a buckle and there's some outside strapping potentially a hook up front, some Velcro or zippers, and the top. So what you do is you want to adjust this strap so that when you put on the strap, it goes in through your instep right there and allows you to put the Velcro over, close the Velcro, and hook it on your boot. Let me show you here. There you go. So this is how you want your gaiter to hook up. Now that little hook can be put on your lace and that way it prevents your gaiter from riding up. And now you simply lay the Velcro against your shin, push it against your shin and simply roll this up and keep it all uniform. Usually there's also a Velcro tab that you can put over here. And then you pull your gaiter up as you stand up and depending on the style of the clasp, you simply run the clasp through here, tighten it so it's well around your calf. So if you've got thin calves, it doesn't fall down. And if you've got fat calves, well, you got no problems. And you clip it on and you are ready to go. Now you'll notice which place I put the buckle in is on the outside. And that is key to your experience with using gaiters and I'll tell you what will happen in a minute but I will also show you the process of putting on the small trail gaiters or the desert gaiters, Rocky Mountain Lows. And you simply stretch them out, put them around here, loop it around. And these are a little bit tighter and that's just the nature of how they are. And instead of a whole Velcro strap up top, there you go. So it's very simple to put on. Also, if you want to wear rain pants on your gaiters or inside of your gaiters, some people actually recommend putting your rain pants outside of your gaiter. That kind of works well for these, but the full length gaiter, I prefer to have my rain pants inside of the gaiter simply because as I'm walking along and crashing through the snow and the rough, you'll see that the fabric here is this heavy Cordura ballistic, sometimes nylon that can take a lot of abuse compared to my rain shell pants, which cannot take as much abuse. I prefer to put my rain pants inside. That way I don't wreck my rain pants on the buckles and everything. So here's the reason that you want to put the buckle on the outside. The first time I tried on gaiters, I think, yeah, cool. I'm marching along. It doesn't take, but like 200 yards in the snow, buckle number one, gets married to buckle number two, they snag. Yeah, exactly, yours truly. <laughs> yeah, I totally ate it. So, I learned the lesson. Always make sure that the buckle is on your out step of your shoe, not your in step here, because you will snag. The outside of these guys aren't a problem. You can see I've almost finally worn these out and need to re-sew them, but that is why you always put the buckle on the outside is because it's so easy as you're kicking your feet together to snag it and <laughs> you don't want to do that, trust me. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out links below to all my different books, especially Adventure Expedition 1, where I talk about gators, 
and also how to keep your feet warm in the cold that gives you a good lowdown on the gator usage and how to keep your feet toasty. Thank you very much and enjoy your gators!